in full preview start to click on file and open the lidar file you choose the lidar file this here called laz you can also open las files You can see the point uh, the point clouds file opened in in this layer. You can choose a 3D, and now you can see the buildings and the trees and the area in 3D file. This is just for imaging. You cannot do do anything in this in this view. We can zoom in a little bit. And now I can take the ruler and see measure the length. And I simply right click when I finish. So I'll do this again. Right click. Oh, try it third time. Click and right click. And again, you can see here, <clears throat> if I want to measure the height of the building, I'm going to use a profile tool. Simply drag a profile and it looks like this. I can right click with the zoom and again take the ruler and measure an approximate height of the building. If I want to see what's actually recorded, I choose the arrow and the question mark and just click in one point. You can see the X, the Y and the Z value here. And again, this here is wrong. Something has gone wrong during uh, the processing. I don't get any intensity because this is not a LIDAR file, this is just an image. I only get one return of one. And I have not been doing anything with this point cloud, so none of the point has been classified. And I get the file name. Try to create a contour. First, start to zoom out by right clicking again and click on the contour line. We only have never classified or unclassified, so I simply press all on, choose to make an interval for one meter, and press OK. And yes. And then there's some calculations here. And now you can see all the lines, which has been the contour lines, which has been made. Normally you only make contour lines from ground points, but we haven't been making an, any classification on this building here. So we only get from, um, from the, both buildings, trees and ground. It takes a while to uh, calculate these lines. 